Twice's subunit Misamo is breaking records with their debut. Their debut mini album Masterpiece managed to top iTunes charts in more than 20 countries shortly after it came out. Masterpiece was on the top of the global chart, debuting at number one on the worldwide iTunes album chart and at number two on the European iTunes album charts. Moreover, the album charted at number one on iTunes top album charts in 21 countries. Congratulations to Misamo on their achievements, and hopefully we'll get to see more of them. Kim Sejong has a pretty busy schedule ahead of her. Not only is she reprising her role in TVN's The Uncanny Counter 2 Counterpunch, which premieres on July 29th, but she's also releasing a new album in September. On July 27th, it was reported that Sejong would be coming back to the music industry with a new solo album after over two years of not being active in the music industry. Her last album, I Am, was released in March of 2021, and even though she took part in a special remake album and in the Business Proposal official soundtrack, this will mark her first official comeback. People couldn't help but feel excited to have her back as a singer, and we feel the same. Let's wait and see what she has prepared for us. Stray Kids are releasing a collaboration with Japanese artist Lisa. It was announced on July 27th that Stray Kids is all set to make their highly anticipated return to the Japanese music scene with their upcoming mini-album Social Path, scheduled to release on September 6th. This marks their comeback in Japan after approximately seven months since the release of their first full Japanese album, The Sound. The mini-album will feature the lead single Social Path featuring Lisa, who's a well-known Japanese artist. Alongside this, fans can look forward to the Japanese version of Stray Kids' hit track Super Bowl, which was originally a B-side from their third full album, Five Star. The group's fandom showed excitement for the collaboration, praising Lisa's vocals and discussing how good she would sound paired with the voices of the Stray Kids members. We can't wait to hear the collab. Wang Jihao, who was a contestant in Boys Planet, will be making his solo debut. It was announced that he has signed with Chromosome Entertainment, which was founded by Exo's Lei, and will go by the stage name Levy. His debut will happen sometime in mid-August, though one thing isn't clear yet. Fans are confused on whether he'll promote as a singer in Korea or globally. Nevertheless, we're more than sure that he will do well, so good luck to him. A netizen who made malicious comments about Suzy has been fined by the Supreme Court. The netizen was sued by Suzy's label for making malicious comments towards her from October to December of 2015. According to fans, the netizens made inappropriate comments towards her, objectified her, and harassed her during those months. In the first trial, the netizen pleaded not guilty and was sentenced to a fine of 1 million won. Now, on July 27th, the third division of the Supreme Court dismissed the netizen's second appeal before fining them 500,000 Korean won. While fans aren't happy with the fine, saying that it should have been more considering how much the netizen tormented her, they're also glad that the company pursued the case. La Seraphim Sakura is the next idol whose fans are sending protest trucks to the respective company. This time, Sakura's Chinese fans think that their favorite idol is getting constantly discriminated against by HYBE and allegedly even by the members. According to her fans' complaints, the members pretend to have a good relationship with each other, but Sakura keeps getting left out. There were also complaints about her individual promotions, which fans believe are getting blocked by HYBE. These fans plan to have their trucks stand in front of the company from July 27th until August 3rd, but there's one problem. Chaewon's birthday, who Sakura's bandmate, falls on August 1st. This led to criticism towards the Chinese fans, since it seems unfair for them to send protest trucks on the day of her birthday, especially since Chaewon will most likely go to the company to film a live stream. However, the fandom is unmoved. They think that the one who should be blamed for this is HYBE, not the fans, since they're just asking for better treatment for their idol. They're also complaining about how they seem to be the only fandom facing criticism for sending trucks, writing. Why are only Sakura's fans criticized and receiving excessive negative attention over this? This is evidence of prejudice and discrimination. The Chinese fans called out the other La Seraphim fans too, since they don't think it's okay for them to hide just how badly Sakura is allegedly mistreated. According to them, Taewon can just go into the building and not mind the trucks. Korean netizens are arguing against the protest in general. To them, Sakura has had tons of solo promotions and variety appearances for her fans to complain about about mistreatment. A netizen wrote, Honestly, I don't even know if it's true that Sakura isn't getting pushed. She has her own content and she also appears on the radio a lot. Another pointed out how Sakura's fans complained when a protest truck was sent in front of the company on her birthday and called them hypocrites for acting like it isn't a big deal when it's done to Taiwan. International fans also condemned the Chinese fans, saying that they should be the last one to protest about how Sakura has no solo activities. But whether they're in the wrong or not, High Labels has yet to respond to the complaints as of July 27th. Taeyeon is said to have left SM Entertainment, and for the company's sake, we hope that's not true. If you've been keeping up, Taeyeon has shown her disdain towards SM for a while now, with rumors stating that she wasn't
wasn't going to continue with the company. She posted cryptic stories on her Instagram showing her desire to leave the company, has supported her fans who sent protest trucks in front of the company, and has even unfollowed the company's official account on Instagram after one of her concerts. Talk about hit after hit. With her contract expiring soon, people can't help but wonder if she's finally parting ways with the company. A netizen speculated that she might have already left SM since she was missing from the lineup of SM's town live concert SMCU Palace in Jakarta. The lineup includes Dolbang Shingi, Super Junior, Red Velvet, NCT 127, and Dream, and even SM's new boy group, but Taeyeon is nowhere to be found. However, netizens don't seem to think that Taeyeon is leaving anytime soon. According to them, with the schedule that Taeyeon has had lately, it would be more surprising if she actually took part in the concert. A netizen made a comment pointing out, All of Kakao's directors have asked Taeyeon to renew, and all of SM's directors attended Taeyeon's concert. Taeyeon had her 10K venue in Jakarta last time already as a solo concert, and that was during her comeback time. Another said that since Taeyeon is currently on tour and has already passed Jakarta, there's no point in her coming back to the country for SM's concert. A fan also made a point that while they would love for Taeyeon to leave the company because of how they treat her, it's very unlikely for her to do so. Well, there's only one thing left to do about that, and it's waiting until August when her contract is about to expire and hoping that Taeyeon makes the best decision for her career. We can trust her to do so. In addition to Taeyeon, Blackpink's contracts with YG Entertainment are coming to an end, and let's just say it's not looking good for the latter. So far, there have been multiple reports about the members, and especially Lisa not renewing their contracts. According to reports, YG has made the renewal of Blackpink's contract their priority and is focusing all their efforts on it. The reports have said that all the company's attention is centered on retaining the group due to their unique success, as other artists under YG Entertainment haven't achieved comparable results. Blackpink probably knows that without them, YG is nothing, so there's a chance that they've asked for a lot of money in exchange for them continuing their activities with the company. Even talks of them leaving have caused the company's stocks to fall 6% by the end of the trading day, so the members certainly know the power that they have over YG. They're either asking for a lot of money to renew, or are still undecided on whether they should continue with the company or not, which is why YG is publicly claiming that no other group of theirs have achieved what Blackpink did. There is another possibility, and it's that YG Entertainment is doing media play to build suspense, just like they did with Baby Monsters lineup. Fans have pointed out that Blackpink have tons of schedules after August 7th, when their contract is supposed to expire. The group has shows which are scheduled up to August 26th, an encore in South Korea, and Rosé even told fans that Blackpink would be coming to Australia in the future. According to others, the members have all probably renewed at this point, and YG Entertainment is doing all this so they can convince the public that they're such a good company that they convinced the girls to stay. There's a chance that they thought of not renewing at first, and YG Entertainment is using that to the fullest. You haven't seen this many articles in international media speculating about the contract renewal of any other group, have you? No matter how incompetent you think YG Entertainment are, media play is the one thing they excel at, and they're using it to the max. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments, and thank you for watching. Bye!